So we took a, we just got an early league. Early league, early league. <laughs> that was funny. Hey guys, this is the Game Hunter with another episode of Clash Royale. And in this episode, we're gonna make another modification to my dual or double prince deck. As you guys remember, in the previous episode, I decided to replace the prince with the giant skeleton. Now we need to add a tornado. <laughs> Let's see how this is gonna work. Getting a lot of messages from you fellas asking me, uh, how can you use a tornado effectively? It's not like a deadly car. Well, uh, in my opinion, it's a tactical car. You need to know where and when to use it. Don't expect to kill a thousand troops with a tornado because that's not the case. But if you combine the tornado with a sap, probably with the ice wizard, uh, you can definitely do some, some interesting combinations. So to refresh your memory, let's take a look to the lineups. We're going with the Musketeer, Dark Prince, Tornado, Giant Skeleton, Zap, Ice Wizard, Tombstone, and the Mega Minion. You guys are ready? Let's go to the arena. Let's go for battle number one. I'm going to start with the Giant Skeleton, Musketeer, Zap, and Tornado. My opponent, Giant Skeleton, Musketeer, Zap? What? <laughs> is this is a mirror match or what? And also Britney Spears. Okay, we're both going to start with the Giant Skeleton. I decide to be a little bit more aggressive and I deploy my giant skeleton in front of the arena tower uh, because I have the ice wizard so I can do like an early like an early push let's see how far we can go with this giant skeleton because remember the whole idea of that car is to get as close as possible to one of the towers the bomb is what's the most important part of the giant skeleton that's all we almost did a thousand a thousand damage with only one bomb so mission accomplished perfect and in the other hand we were able to protect ourselves with tombstone so the opponent giant skeleton didn't have a chance to reach our arena tower all right so we're gonna do another push with the musketeer and the dark prince we got sap to shut down the musketeer and you have to respect the dark prince it's so useful, especially because of the shield. Now we are, things are gonna change a little bit. We see a mini P.E.K.K.A. and also Sparky. That is not good. My tombstone is a little bit too far away from the range of Sparky. So what can we do? What can we do to survive this attack? What about we use a tornado? Using the tornado, we completely change <laughs> the path of Sparky. Sparky was aiming to the arena tower. And you see the tornado helped me big time to push Sparky towards the tombstone. And after destroying the tombstone, it's game over for Sparky, right? Because I got all the little skeletons and they can take care of business. Okay, we see one more time giant skeleton coming from the left side. I believe he's trying to get the whole combat together. Usually when your opponent deploy the main tank in the back or, the, or close to the king tower, that means that he's trying to come up with the this, this full, full, full combo. In this case, probably Giant Skeleton plus uh, Musketeer, maybe Sparky, but I think he decided to change something at the last second. Because he has the Miner level 2, he decided to deploy the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Miner to do damage against my tower in the bottom right corner. It was really effective, it was really effective, but Right now, we have a good chance to counter. And here we go. That's what we're going to do. Dark Prince, Mega Minion receiving some damage from the Archer. If the Mega Minions start engaging the Arena Tower, we are in business. We are in business. And apparently, my opponent already figured that out. Yeah, it's going to be super difficult now to come back. We got the Giant Skeleton entertaining the Mini P.E.K.K.A. The Miner probably, I don't think it's going to be able to destroy that tower. Because I still have the Dark Prince, which is a, it's a useful car on defense. And that mini pick is not going anywhere. <laughs> and the Mega Minion. And victory, it's our. As you guys saw, there was one key moment of the game when Sparky was pushing towards my arena tower in the bottom left corner. But because of the tornado, because of the tornado, we were able to survive that push. Let's go for the next battle. Battle number two. Here we go. Musketeer, Ice Wizard, Tombstone, and Giant Skeleton. My opponent, Fireball, Skeleton Army, Mega Minion, and Hawk Rider. Okay. Should be an interesting battle. When your opponent, <laughs> usually when your opponent deploy the Mega Minion in the back of the arena, that is not a good news. <laughs> that is definitely not good news. That means that maybe another tank is coming, maybe the Flying Cow, but in this case, something happened. I don't know, probably he figured out or he changed his mind about deploying the Hawk Rider. After seeing the musketeer and the ice wizard on defense. But he decided to come out. Whoa! 
That was painful to watch. He decided to deploy the Skeleton Army and the Minion Horde. But I was ready with the Ice Wizard and Sap. And I cannot believe how fast all those units went down. That was a bad, that is a bad tornado, by the way. <laughs> In case you're wondering. See, I really wanted to show you when you do something good. And sometimes when we make mistakes. In that case, I... I, I Probably if the tornado was a little bit lower or close to the bridge, would be a lot more effective because I should be able to push the the Hog Rider and the guards. That was my plan. That was my original plan. To push those two uh, units towards the bomb. But, well, that didn't work out very well. We still have a really good early lead. Ice Wizard coming with some skeleton. We got the giant skeleton on defense. Another valuable unit that we can use on defense because especially with if somebody is pushing you with tons of troops and you if you have the giant skeleton protecting the bridge oof i'm pretty sure somebody else or some yeah something else is gonna die okay another good placement of the tornado one more time they were pushing the giant skeleton and i decided to push them back with the tornado and finish them off with sap you see the combination between sap and tornado works like a charm and right now we have a really really good lead that skeleton army <laughs> not gonna be able to survive because of the bomb of the giant skeleton. And my Dark Prince is still delivering some some blows. That, that's good. I appreciate that, my friend. We have the Mega Minion coming this way. Now finally see the Hog Rider coming. But I got my Tombstone. I got my Mega Minion. I got the Ice Wizard. But I also have the Tornado. Look at this. One more time, Tornado. No, you're not touching. You're not touching my Arena Town. <laughs> and between the Ice Wizard, Tornado, and Sap, we were able to counter that Mega Minion. A push with the minion horde. Now, now we can use definitely we can use the giant skeleton to defend ourselves against guard and skeleton army. There is no problem about. Look at that. We were to counter every single one. The bomb is gonna finish the last couple of Larrys. Another push with the hog rider, mega minion, a minion horde. This doesn't look good, but one more time, we are gonna use the tornado and sap to counter this attack completely, completely. So, at one second, it looks like I was, I was dead, right? When you see the, the. The Hawk Rider pushing with a Mega Minion and the Minion Horde. Uh, but I was lucky enough to have the Tornado in my hand. And in combination with Sap, it's deadly. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode Clash Royale. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.